That skin is ridiculous and amazing. I think it's the only skin I like that they put out on this uh, particular release. The other ones just look stupid. Meow Kai is amazing, but the, the, the two that they released this year, the Meow Rick, awful. Just awful. And Pretty Kitty Rangar. Ugh. Terrible. It's a nice bee you have, sir. Oh, did we take a Hecarim away? Yeah, Vi, look at that. Vi is the closest thing to Hecarim. They do basically the same thing. In team fights, they do... They press R in the vicinity of a lot of people and then just repetitively CC and burst them down. They, they essentially are the same champion done in slightly different styles. So it turns out, Espresso with some ice and some Baileys makes a delicious morning coffee. Without the buzz, which is not exactly a positive, but I'll mention it anyways. <clears throat> So you went Ignite, he's looking for kills, which means I'm looking to avoid lane interaction as much as possible. And I never want to be anywhere near him when he has half his rage bar. I missed that. Come back here, you rounding air. Oh crap, this is gonna hurt. I was right, that was going to hurt. Because he had over 50 rage, which means it was going to be empowered. I'm just trying my hardest to shove. I'm not doing a very good job of shoving if I'm trying my hardest, but still. I just wanted to hit two so I can essentially ignore him and shove it in. And then have the wave start pushing back my way. So I can let it slow push towards me, and I don't need to worry about anything when he gets at his strongest point, which is going to be three. Me, I'm strongest at two. He gets much stronger on that level three boost. See, right now he's three. Wait, why am I not three? Must have missed some XP when I walked away. I'm trying to bait him forward. Vi is coming. Did you not notice earlier, Vi? Why is she still sticking around? Wasting time. See, that's what happened because uh, I didn't dash into him. He did take a tower shot. Don't have, don't have any health. Shit. Too many minions. Oh fuck! I I was just too low. <laughs> what just happened? Oh my god! That was amazing! That single-handedly just saved my lane. 
What the fuck? I mean, there were just too many minions. I could not get in there. Wow. I can't, I can't believe that just happened. Holy shit. Oh, uh, I'm behind in farm, but we're even in kills, and I currently have a re- What the fuck just happened? Um... Best part is he went ignite, so he doesn't have teleport like me. But he'll make it rougher than I do. <laughs> that was uh, definitely the funniest thing I've seen so far this week. Oh, good, he's pushing. That means I get to play back and not need to worry. Got his dash. It's a big deal. He can't walk up and farm without it. And he essentially has to give up CS while that's on cooldown. There's the Vi. Just want to hit him with a little burn. Now he's 50. I'm now 6 and he's not. That is one of the biggest advantages you can have in the game. On Urgot more than most champs. I should shut this out. I'm not gonna be able to deny him much, if anything. You're not gonna get to freeze it. That was a... Whew, that trade didn't go well. For him. That E caught his second dash. It was perfect. Certainly not planned, but I'll take it. I'm not out. Nope! Damn. Well, that sucks. Would have been nice to have gotten a warning thing. <sighs> At least the Renekton didn't get that kill. Oh my god, the Corky's gonna die now. Uh. Huh! Corky's not going to die, and gets a kill. Okay. That actually ended up okay. Not bad. Damn. Well, there went my early advantage. Now he has the advantage. But, as per usual, once I hit 9 and 13, the advantage swings rapidly in my direction. Making sure this pushes in, and then we go drop the board. Yeah, he's coming out of the laning phase a little bit better off than I am. And that's not good enough. He doesn't scale well. Oh, that's funny! You hear dogs howling when he picks up the package. I didn't, I didn't notice that the first time I heard it. Oh. Hmm. 
not gonna get her. Oh yes, I am. No, I'm definitely gonna kill you. It's just a question of how long it's gonna take. Oh, you should have pulled him in. That doesn't help against her. Because Riot decided that it shouldn't. I don't know why Riot made that decision, but they did. Well, that was silly, but we came out ahead. I'll take it. Let's get as many plates as we can, right? We lost bot lane. Our bot lane's not doing well, and that's a jinx. Oh, that's never a good sign. That is never a good sign. I think he just worded. He warded, dude. He warded. There's no way you're going to get anything to happen. Just get out. Huh. And then he does that. Completely baffling me. It was on cooldown, dude. What am I supposed to do? You probably should have checked that before you started that. The start of the fight, I did not have it ready. It was on cooldown. The good news, I'm now level 9. And he's dead with no teleport. And their Vi is currently at the dragon. Which means I get to take a whole bunch of plates. Might even get three. Might as well get the dragon. If my teleport's not going to get anything uh, big. I can catch that. Nice! Uh oh. No. Oh, he died to the red buff. We still got the dragon and a kill, so not terrible. Unfortunately, my tower is going to suffer a lot of plate loss. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to suffer a lot of plate loss. Damn it, our AD carry is not working with us. 144 is not good. 6-3 Jinx, Jesus. <sighs> okay, we can still win this. I'm fed Hecarim's fed. Hecarim can ruin Jinx. That's just something he's designed to do. Oh, I hit her. And I'm probably dead. Yeah, I'm definitely dead. Ah, uh, Hecarim bailed. I guess he doesn't have enough tanky stats at this point to fight a prolonged fight. 
My mistake then, I should not have gone in after. Oh, uh, whoa, that was weird. Uh, this is bad. Yeah, Soraka, ain't that a bitch. Plus, he went in a little early. Our AD carry wasn't quite there. She was on her way. Um, oh no. This is just getting worse and worse. They're fighting in pieces and they're all getting picked apart. Wow. We just need a group together at the beginning. Like, all the CC, all the targeted damage was great, but it was all at different times. this thing yet. I'd rather take this tower naturally. Maybe the Rift Herald right now is the right move. Thank you, Thresh. Well, the turret's going down. Thresh may have just saved the Rift Herald, by the way. By simply showing himself. And it might allow us to get a second charge, because Hecarim just picked up two kills. Yeah, we'll get a second charge. beefy at this point in the game. Pretty durable, I think, is the word I'm actually looking for. Shit, hit the wrong one. I needed to turn on her. Fuck, I should have turned on her. If I had eat into her instead of away, I think I actually could have gotten her. Oh, that was a mistake. I should have gone aggro instead of, uh, instead of backing away. My natural instinct was wrong. Should have fought. Well, I got the shield anyways, but the big difference is it would have, A, hit her with hard CC, which is a big deal. Because that means she's not doing damage during that time. But more importantly, it would expose her to shotguns that were available, and I was doing a ton of damage without any shotguns towards the end. Like, she got down to 40%, and I had available shotguns on the other side. Had I just flipped her, I think I could have killed her. The only real question is whether the Renekton would have made it in time to get to me, CC me, and ensure I die even then. That was the only calculation that really would have mattered there, and it would have been worth the risk. Oh dear. No, I hit the wrong one. Or did I hit the right one? Dang. Uh, you gotta go for the target of the Urgot ult. The Sirocco was low. One more anything would have killed her. I think the Corky could have done it. Yeah. Got him. Yeah, I got locked behind enemy lines. Does he have her? No, he does not. Jesus, she's healing so much from the fucking Soraka.
I mean, right now the Soraka is the big issue. She's she's keeping them alive in situation. Ridiculous. And it worked. What is this surrender boat doing here? Nice. You're dead. Nicely done, Hecarim. He ulted for burst. What the fuck is this surrender vote doing here? He needs to out. Wow. Uh he he ulted for burst. I can't believe he did that. I wouldn't have. I would have saved my ult for the uh Oh my god, I don't even have a hundred farm yet. <laughs> Oops. I made 4-3, 21 minutes into the game, and I don't have 100 CS on the call. Keep in mind that the fact that it says 110 means I must have picked up quite a bit of jungle farm then. Or at least several camps. I can't believe that worked. That teleport looked like it was going to be a disaster. It looked like I was going to be alone in that fight. Hecarim took too much damage earlier, and then he came back in, and it turned into this wonderful route. And we just wrecked. I'm I'm as surprised as the next person. I'm I'm on the way. Can't go that way now. I was hoping to cut him off. I was too slow. I do not like what the team's currently. Well then. Well then! Wow, she's gonna live. Oh my god, she's gonna live. We still won the fight overall. We, got, we gotta take turrets now. That was ridiculous. I caught the Soraka and she popped! Complete disrespect! Complete disrespect of a, of a brush you do not have vision on. Uh, please don't. Just take the inhib. We don't have too much time to take it, so let's just take it. Got it. Let's get out. Oh, let's just take the dragon. Sorry, ours. They can't do anything about it. Mm. Oops. Yeah, let's just back. We got so much out of that. And now I've got Righteous Glory to make things even better. <laughs> the sneaky Urgot for the big plays. Uh, we really should be going for this. It's an outer turret. Let's clear out the last of our outer turrets. Why is Thresh over there alone? I am the very definition of a self made man. Okay.
Oh! She's still dead, though. Too many of us. She's still dead. Another complete disrespect play. She knew that I was in the area. And she went for the she went for the assassination attempt anyways. That's gonna be that's a two turret cost for that mistake. That cost her team two What the hell was that? Oh, that would have been nice if it landed. If only you didn't do the flay first. Oh wow. Holy shit, the hecarim. Mm. Ah. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine. Worth, I think? Yes, worth! No, not worth. I mean, yes, worth! <laughs> yes, worth! Oh, God, don't die! Oh, God, just run! Just run! Oh, my God! <laughs> Your people are crazy! <sighs> oh, oh, my... Everybody was, like, one hit away from death there. Damn. Balls to the walls, actually. Let's get a big sword. I need a really big sword. I don't have enough of these. Bang. There we go. Huge sword. Swing it around at anybody. Yeah, now we should be focusing on this. My teleport's ready. There's wards in place. And Akali does have teleport. And I have Righteous Glory. I bet I can take her. I've got no magic resist at all, but... Oh, she went AD. Oh, that's adorable. Nice. The Baron's already gone. Enemy team didn't react fast enough. It's already gone. My team doesn't need me. They're already... They're stomping them now. I can just shove. Yeah, I can just shove. My team's got that. They don't need me. Kali's not even here. Cool. This game's over now. Oh yeah, this game's over. Three of them are dead. I've got a super minion wave, or excuse me, a Baron empowered wave coming. I want one last kill. Oh my! Oh god, I think I just popped the cork. Oh man, I'm pretty sure I just popped the cork. Poor thing. Poor thing. I know she's the one who normally goes pop the cork, but that... There's a blood fountain right there. <laughs> Holy crap. And yes, the W is a toggle. In case you haven't been here in a while, a couple weeks ago, or a few weeks ago, I don't know how many weeks it was, Riot changed it so his W no longer had a shield. The shield was moved to his E. It was given any AD scaling. His W went from 12 seconds all the way down to a toggle as you put points into it. Yes, it's a toggle, and it's amazing. It's the best thing Riot's done to Urgot since the rework. And I think the end result is... Um, it's it's so good. Uh, the Corky, the Hecarim? Hecarim. Oh, the Hecarim was really good that game. And hey, we're in a series! I was right. The Hecarim was indeed very good that game. I'd recommend no more Thresh. <laughs> yeah, our Thresh was... Um, interesting. That flash flare where he was nowhere near anybody was was bizarre to say the least. He clearly doesn't have enough experience on the champion. I think he has the theory down. It's not it's just that he doesn't have the knowledge yet. He needs a few dozen more games. He'll get there though. He'll get there. Um I'm not gonna discourage him from playing Thresh. Maybe not in ranked, but I will not discourage him. 